yeah. Pauline <laughs> here, aka Beauty Blush 06, and today I'm going to be doing a favorites video because I like doing favorites videos and I have some favorites to show you guys. P.S. I got a haircut if you cannot see. Um, I just kind of, I don't think I was going to make it this short, but at the same time I kind of knew in the back of my mind that I wanted to make it like a bob, and so here I am. I think I'm like 95 years too late on this trend because this was more like a 20s kind of thing, but you know what? It's okay because I, I like it, and I'm feeling very, I'm feeling very Carly Kloss from a couple years ago mixed with Selena Gomez when she had her bob, and also Arson from Bad Blood, which is AKA Selena Gomez. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a lot of different things, but I'm very happy and I'm comfortable, and so that's all that matters. So let's just get into the favorites video. I'm in manual focus and it's very hard for me to not like move around because then I'm out of focus like all the time. So I'm gonna try to stay in frame, but if I'm not in frame, please do not yell at me, but I'll try my very best. I'm gonna start off with the random favorites because everyone usually does random favorites at the end, but you know what? I'm just feeling a lot of different things, so we're gonna go with the randoms first. And I have a book which is actually lent to me by my best friend Fiona, and it's called Everyone Hanging Out Without Me and Other Concerns by Mindy Kaling. It looks like this. It's I, I asked her for a book that wasn't a teen mo romance, that wasn't too sappy, so she said that she's been on like a comedian kick lately with books, so this is pretty much... Um, a biography of Mindy Kaling's life like from when she was younger to the life she has now and I'm pretty sure she's an she's an um she's one of the writers of The Office so it's really funny like I I okay my humor is not the same as everyone else's humor like I tend to laugh at people falling down and people like hurting themselves while people tend to laugh at like late night shows types of shows so, but I don't find stand-up comedy that funny, but this, I have just been laughing over so much. Like, there are so many witty comments in here. Next is a wallet slash accessory. Um, my best friend Elise gave me this white wallet that I've been using every single time I have to use a wallet. And I've been using it for like the past maybe seven or eight years, which is quite a long time to have a wallet. So, um, for my birthday this year, she gave me a new one, and it was in my room tour if you guys saw that. So, anyways, it looks like this. It's this Michael Kors red... It's kind of like the color of my lips, but brighter. Um, I really, really love it. At first, I was like, can I fit things in here? But you can fit so much, so many things in here. It would, bl it, it blows my mind how much I fit in here. So I just like have my money and stuff, my cards, and there's like a cute little compartment here where you could put um, your phone in. And there's just, there's so much room in this. Like, yeah, sometimes it's a little bulky and hard to close, but you know what? It, it's fine, and I, I actually like the wristlet part. I'm really, I haven't, I've never really worn wristlets. I've never really saw like a good wristlet to buy, and I always just thought, hey, just like use a bag and throw it in there. But I love carrying this around with me, like if I'm wearing like a fancy dress or something. Like it's just such a nice um, staple, especially in my wardrobe right now. Like I love wearing this everywhere I go. And at least I want to talk to you guys about a tea that I got. Okay, so here's the thing. So I was eating lunch one day and my mom bought me this drink called Joe's Tea and it was this pink lemonade and I thought, oh my gosh, this is really good. And so I just emailed the company and they said, oh, like we're willing to like send you some products if you want. So they literally sent me, um, I think, tw 10 to, I think they sent me 12 jars of different types of tea that they had. And so they wanted me to share it with you guys. And honestly, I'm not going to be saying, oh yeah, this is sponsored, because it's not. They literally just sent me the drinks because I asked them to. And it's so, so delicious. Um, I had them out for my pool party that I had with my friends, and they all tried different flavors, and honestly, it tastes so good. And the best part is, it's all natural. Um, especially the peach tea is so good, but all of the flavors are delicious from the ones I've tried out. Like, I'm not just going to be saying this to you guys just to get free stuff. Like, I'm not, I'm not here for that, but it was really really good tea and the best part is it's in a jar it's it's made of glass so it's much better than using plastic because you know you can't recycle plastic like as much as people tell you you can in the end we still don't know how long it takes for plastic to degrade and to actually be environmentally friendly and jars glasses is just so much better so I just love the whole drink itself, so I want to share it with you guys, and honestly, my friends love it too, so <laughs> that's a little clip of me and my friends, so I hope you guys enjoy. I've been using a ton also, um, and then I'm gonna move on to the makeup, because usually, my other, my other video, I didn't really have many makeup favorites to show, because I haven't been wearing makeup much, 
but um, there have been like a few makeup items that I've been using when I do wear makeup that I have been, oh my gosh, like they're my holy grail products right now. So I have to show you guys them. But first, I'm gonna show you guys a perfume, and I got this perfume in ninth grade, and I still use it. It's the Selena Gomez perfume. I just thought it was kind of fitting, because you know, Selena Gomez Bob. Anyways, um, I really like it. I don't really care for the design too much because it's kind of, it's a little bit heavy, like I don't really like the design but it looks cool in my room, but I love, love, love the smell. It's a very airy perfume I want to say, like I really don't know how else to describe it, but it, even if you just spray one, like if you just pump it once and you just get one spray on you, someone else can recognize the scent from literally so far. love it, it's a very sweet candy-like perfume, so if you if you ever meet me and you're like, yo, you kind of smell like candy, what, what perfume am I wearing? It's most likely going to be this. So I really like it. I don't really like the design too much. Like I said, it's a little heavy and hard to carry in places, especially if I'm going to go traveling, but um, great smell. Just to go with bronzer. I never wear bronzer. Like I've never worn bronzer. I maybe wore it maybe a total of two times in my life and then I just decided, you know what, not for me, but lately I've just been on a bronzer kick. Like, um, I don't know. I don't think I'm doing it right or maybe I am. I have no idea, but I like the effect it gives. So I've been using my mom's Bobbi Brown medium to bronzing powder and I like it because it's matte. I hate more than anything shimmery powders. I absolutely hate it. If it's not highlighter, then don't put sparkles in it. That's my philosophy. Like why would you put sparkle in it? So it looks like this. It's very matte and as you can see, it was used many times before. Not by me. I promise I'm not that crazy about it. Um, this was my mom's. But I really, really like it and what I've been loving to use with it, like the brushes. Okay, so I got this e.l.f. small tapered brush. That's exactly what it's called for three bucks. Um, several months ago and I usually use this for highlighter just like for the top of the cheekbones but I've been really liking it to get that good chisel in so this is great for that and also this came in my BoxyCharm box um, about two or three months ago so it's pretty recent not not too old but it wasn't from this month's box and it's called the Mistura Beauty Solutions brush I don't know what kind but it looks like this and obviously it doesn't look like a brush but you open it oh my gosh it's a brush and you bring it down and then it's just a full-up brush and what I love doing with this is I don't have a bronzer um, I don't have a bronzer brush because I've never used bronzer before so I didn't feel the need to buy one but what I like to do is I like to kind of bring it up almost as though I'm about to close it and put it back in but I like to bring it up all the way here and hold it there so that way it doesn't budge and then just draw the bronzer on and honestly it does it does a great job like I don't need a bronzer brush when I have this and then to blend it all out I just bring it back up and just blend it away with the big side of the brush so very awesome and great for traveling as you can see you can just throw it in your bag if you're going on vacation I love this and then also um, moving on to brows, I have a few brow products I want to show you guys. Um, this also came in my BoxyCharm box. I think this came, if it's either this month or last month, but it's very, very recent. It's called the Bodyography um, 3595 Essential Brow Trio. It looks like this, and I am obsessed with this. I really love it so much, and they also, it also came with a brush too, which is also great. It's called Bodyography Pro if you're interested in it. It just has like a spoolie on the side so you can comb out your brows, and on the very end it has a very small um, brush. So what I like to do is I kind of tap into all three colors. So there's one for if you have light brows, if you have darker brows, and then the darkest kind of brow color. So I usually use a mix between this and this, and then I'll touch of this. And it's a very, I don't want to say creamy, it's, it's powdered, but it just has a very creamy finish. So I love dabbing this in and just drawing in, I just dropped it, and drawing in my eyebrows like that. So I really like these two products. And then to set it all in, I've just been using my same brow gel for the past three years um, called Great Lash Maybelline New York Clear Gel. It looks like this. It's kind of getting gross, so I probably have to get a new one soon, but I promise it's just like the brow powder inside. Like nothing's, it's not like my, this is not from my eyebrows. This is more from the color of the eyeshadow. And anyway, it's great way to just set in your eyebrows into place and I love it. And I just lightly like drew under my eyes and then I just blended in and oh my gosh, this brought so much light to my face. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It looks like this, it's like this pink color and it does so many wonders. Like you can apply it to the very um, inner corners of your eyes, right under your eyebrows and it literally brings so much light in. It doesn't even look like there's product there. It just looks like you're just naturally that luminous. So definitely holy grail. It literally became a holy grail makeup product for me. I love it. Okay, almost coming to an end. I have lip products to show you guys. Um, all of which are the exact same brand, so I might have a problem, but it's the NARS lip pencils. I've talked about this so many times ever since I got them in, um, 
early, no, like mid-October, mid-November-ish when Taylor Swift revolved my post and I asked her what lip pencil she uses and she said she uses the NARS ones. So I'm just going to list all of them because I love all of them even though you guys have heard of these so many times before but I got a few new ones so I want to show those to you. But um, I love using the Dolce Vita Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. I love using the Luxembourg one which is like a slightly red satin lip pencil so it's a little bit glossier and then I love using Dragon Girl for a red lip. Uh, that's not what I have on right now, I'll show you guys what I have on. And this is also a matte pencil. So these are the ones that Taylor Swift definitely uses, she's told me she uses them and plus like when I put it on I could see comparing to pictures that she does use these. But I got these two and I have a really funny story to tell you guys. Actually, it might not be that funny, but I was pretty happy. So I went to Sephora and I wanted to get a new lip pencil because I kept using like the same three. Um, well, I mean, I kept using Dolce Vita, which is a pretty nude color. Like there's nothing really that special about it, but I just it just gives a nice finish. Anyways, I just wanted a new um, lip color. So I was looking at the NARS lip pencils and I finally found this color and they didn't have it. So I asked like the sales lady if she can get one from the back or something and she finally came back and got me one. And then I went to the cash register and I'm about to pay for it. And it's pretty expensive, it's $26, so it's really not cheap. And I'm about to pay and I look over to the right and then it says like the birthday gifts, it says the NARS, like this two duo thing. And I said, oh, um, what is that? Can I get that with like my 100 points or something? And she said, no, it's like the birthday gift. You didn't get it? And I said, no, I got like this makeup forever thing instead. And so she's like, oh, okay, I'll just give you this one instead. And then I was like, wait, could you just read me like the brand names, like what, what two colors are here? And Guys, it was the same color that I was about to buy for $26. I was going to get the color Rakujian? Question mark? I don't know. It's a really pretty glossy pink color, but I was so in love with it. I was really contemplating getting it or not because it was pretty expensive. But in the end, I literally just didn't even buy it because I got a free one instead. So it looks like this. It's so pretty. I know it looks like the Dolce Vita one, but I promise it's not. It's This one is the one I got. Um, it's very pinky and it's a satin finish too, so it's a little bit glossier. And it looks like this, it's a light pink color, but I just, I love it so much. And it stays on for such a long time too. And then what I have on my lips right now is called Cruella and it's the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. So this is just matte, as you can see. I hope you guys like the favorites. If you wanna try any of the favorites out or you have some of the favorites that I mentioned in this video, leave a comment down below or leave a comment saying what your favorites are because I'm interested to know what products you guys like. If it's not makeup, if it's anything you guys want, share it with me down below and I'll make sure to read it and I'll try to reply to everyone as soon as I can and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye everyone.